What is up guys, Wu here back again with another Division 2 video and in today's video we need to talk about title update 8.4 and the patch notes which I will drop a link in the description so you can check out after watching this video. And of course if you enjoyed this video please give me the thumbs doodle that helps and it makes me a very happy chappy and of course drop the woo bomb on the subscribe button and be subscribed for future Division 2 content guys. Let's do this. Yeah! You don't cut me off! Woo! Hey! Don't you start that with me! Woo! Woo! Okay, guys, yes, today there has been balancing changes, gameplay changes, and we need to discuss these in this video. First and foremost, I'm a solo player, and I do feel I've had the knackers kicked many, many times with this new Gear 2.0 update, and this is a huge boot in the bollocks. I really believe so. Now, let me know what you think in the comment section. I always, always appreciate your comments. And of course, yes, let's do it. The game that was tuned in a way that playing the exact same enemy composition at higher difficulties and higher player counts would match to the expected gear of that difficulty and extra players added. However, since the game also adds more elites and veterans to accommodate higher difficulty and player counts, this caused tuning to overcompensate health and damage higher than intended. We are thus lowering many of these values. Okay, guys, so these are the aspects they are altering. Reduce NPC damage output for all difficulties. This applies to all NPCs and activities, and enemies will do less damage to players compared to their current damage output. Reduce NPC health and armor for group scaling. Enemy health and armor scaling for two, three, and four player groups based on veterancy. This means red, veteran, elite, and named enemies will have their health and armor reduced compared to their current values. Additionally, we are adjusting health and armor based on activity difficulty. This applies to hard and challenging difficulties where enemies will have lower health and armor compared to their current values. An exception are heroic and legendary difficulty enemies, which will have their health and armor increased. Increased to compensate for the group scaling reductions to their values. Yes, increased. This is what they've had to say about those two modes. We still intend Heroic and Legendary to be very challenging, therefore we are increasing the base difficulty to account for the health reductions for co-op scaling. Compared to now, this means Heroic and Legendary will be a bit harder for solo players and two-player groups. Three-player difficulty will stay roughly the same and four-player difficulty will be easier. So what frustrates me is you are funneled into being a four-man team consistently. And again, I am a solo player, sometimes playing a two, and guys, this will make my content even more difficult. That's not what I want as a Division 2 agent. And again, I feel they have missed they have missed the trick here. I appreciate they are, again, nerfing the damage output and the health and armor from the NPCs. I just believe that's that's a given. That was needed all along. But guys, we do need to see some sem semblance of balance in terms of the heroic and legendary difficulty, which smaller groups will be more difficult. And again, I don't want my solo experience to be more difficult whilst playing this game, and I don't want to be feel funneled into playing into a four-man group all the time. Again, everyone's experience within this game will be different. However, I do want that option to play solo and have the same success playing solo as opposed to playing in a four-man group. Frustrated. I am highly frustrated at today's patch notes. In one, one essence, I'm happy with the, the nerf, but at the same time, I do feel... I do feel they're missing multiple tricks with how they are dealing with solo players. They are missing a massive trick when a good core of the team that play this game are solos. It makes my experience and many, many others highly frustrating. Of course, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section. And again, especially after the damage glitches which we've had, which don't get me wrong, let, let's, let's hands up and just say one thing. This is not the player's fault. This is Massive's fault. They have made multiple problems with this game, and yet they do try to fix them time and time again, but by fixing one thing, they break something else. That's what tends to happen with the Division 1 and the Division 2. So guys, again, drop your comments below. Let me know if you think of these new changes coming to the Division 2. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would make me a very happy woo. Guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.